Taurus. Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. If you're new, please consider a, consider a, a subscribing. Um, I'm so close to a thousand subscribers. I, I'm under a hundred, and once I get to a thousand, uh, I can do certain things like posts. So I'm really excited to get there. If you do feel uh, like subscribing and actually do, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, everybody who's already subscribed and my viewer, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will thank you with every single video. I am very grateful for everyone um, who watches my videos because I know without you, my channel wouldn't be what it is today. So I'm very, very grateful. For those of you who are new and don't know, I'm also an author. I'm writing an action-adventure love story on superhero twin flames. It's called Perception, the two yet one, book one. I read this book out loud live on Facebook recently. I've uploaded all those videos here to YouTube for you to enjoy for free. It's under uh, a playlist called uh, Perception, the two yet one, but all the links for that are in the description box below. If you've already read book one or watched all the videos, fear not for... Perception the Two Yet One Book Two is already written and published. And um, if you would like to purchase these books, the links are in the description box below. They're um, from Kindle Direct Publish Publishing. Pardon me, I'm having a hard time talking, I guess. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, shipping is free. So check them out. Um, also, uh, I have a link from my friend April's Astrology channel here on YouTube. Check her out. And if you would like a personal reading, I do offer those. The information is all in the description box for you to check out below. Um, for those of you who are new and don't know what I'm doing, I will uh, briefly uh, describe what I'm doing. Um, at the advice of Isis, at the end of January, she said, why don't you just take the whole month of February and celebrate love? Because here in the United States, the um, Valentine's Day is on February 14th, which February is this month for us, and that's when we celebrate love. And so I have this beautiful heart, and uh, she also said to um, uh, take one week and get my messages from different goddesses of love. So the first week of February, uh, I got all my messages for you guys from Isis. Uh, the second week, I got the messages from Venus. And last week, I got my messages from the Marys, Mary the Mother and Mary Magdalene. All of those messages were deep and beautiful and very, very strong. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I have a playlist for every single uh, sun sign in the uh, zodiac just go in there and in the in the title it'll say isis says venus says or the marys say okay and this uh this is mother earth says this week okay that's who we are asking for the messages at this time is mother earth i was able to um i wanted one of these tiny little globes forever and uh it was kind of another miracle for me this weekend. I didn't think I was going to get to go shopping, and this idea occurred to me very late in the week. And uh, But I actually ended up getting to go shopping, and I was hoping to find maybe one of these somewhere, but I found an entire selection, and I could pick and choose. So <laughs> to me, that was another miracle. I feel like I'm being encouraged to continue these readings the way I've been doing and so for a representation here from the Keepers of the Light deck, we have Gaia. Okay, Earth Connection. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to Earth. Stay grounded. Okay, so that's her um, Greek name. And here we have uh, Mawu, also Mother Earth. Okay, you are called upon to help with environmentalism. Okay, so these are both your cards. Uh, having them here to represent the earth is also giving you these uh, these messages as well so and then I brought out other things that are all about the earth you know um, my mom had these from our Easter thing last year and this is actually my dog's toy which <laughs> oh woke her up Ooh, and I've just got a bunch of stones and um flowers and I've got my wolf out here today and this is my mom's timer but it's it looks like a 
a ladybug. I just really thought it was cute. I just wanted to bring that out here. And, you know, just everything that the Mother Earth gives us, every single thing that we need. I have this beautiful sphere because Gaia um, Mawu is a sphere being. Okay, uh, today for the tarot, I'm using the tarot of sexual magic. Sex is a huge part of life on this planet. And I also really love how they have all these different languages on these cards as well. But this is, sex is also a huge part of your love life, you know, Valentine's Day. And um, to uh, clarify at the end, I'm going to use the tea leaf fortune cards because they have so many things that have to do with earth they've got animals and and months and just ideas all kinds of fun stuff about the earth okay so um as a reader i read minor arcana cards as messages about your free will and major arcana cards as messages about your divine blueprint your divine blueprint is the plan that you made for yourself before you incarnated as the being that you are in order to encounter and hopefully learn certain lessons of life, uh, which when learned, uh, raise the vibration of your soul. Um, and each time you raise the vibration of your soul in your next lifetime, your life path number is also raised. And then eventually uh, you get to a place where you are able to become enlightened. Okay. So we're kind of dealing with destiny, but not really, because free will can change everything. But sometimes we do write things into our lives that cannot be changed no matter what. So there is a rare occasion there, okay? Now here we have at the heart of everything for you at this time, the reversal of this new beginning, okay? This is the Ace of Swords, okay? And all swords are new beginnings. This is, um, well, you are protected by Archangel Michael. This is clarity. This is victory. But this is in the reverse. So what's going on? This is what's at the heart of everything for you at this time. It's, you're just having these frustrations and setbacks, okay? You're having to be patient. Um, things have been kind of negative. If there's been something that you wanted you may have recently gotten the answer of no, okay? So that's what's going on right there at the heart of everything. I'm going to do my best to keep these um, a bit shorter. I got up to 51 minutes for one last week. So anyway, um, so this is the uh, energy that is directly affecting this uh, Ace of Swords in reverse. It's always red right side up and this is the major arcana card of the lovers. This is kind of a different card uh, when you have three people here. Okay, this is the lovers. This is the card of Gemini. There may be a Gemini involved here. Gemini is an air sign which is um, the swords. Swords is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. But here we have this Gemini influence. Okay, so it could be that you're in love with a Gemini and um, at first you want you wanted to get together with them and then at first they're like no or something, okay? But this doesn't have to be a Gemini. This can be love, you know? You, you're developing a love relationship. This can also um, mean a choice. So if uh, you might be confused about something since you've got the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Swords right side up means clarity, uh, you could be... Um, confused about what choice to make okay but um, I'm feeling since we have the lovers and this is about love this is uh, some something to do with love in your life okay now this is what is at uh, the root of all of it and we've got wands now this is fire energy Aries Leo Sagittarius energy um, uh, wands, fire energy is, it is energy itself. It is fire. Okay. So this is a lot of passion. Okay. There is a lot of passion going on here. This is the energy of persevering. It's like you, you're being attacked from all sides, yet you have the upper hand and you will be victorious. That is the energy that goes with the seven of wands. This, this speaks about perseverance and uh, until you are uh, victorious, okay? 
So you are all about persevering um, through this conflict because you know, you know that you've got the upper hand and you're very passionate about it and you know you're going to win. Now, this is the energy that's moving out of your life at this time. And this is the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a, is a, a fatherly energy, um, uh, very trustworthy. Um, in reverse, though, his energy is possessive and jealous, insecure. Um, this is telling you that you need to take things in moderation, okay? So this is dishonesty, this can be injustice, this can even be things like scandal, you know. So, um, but I really feel like this is the, the possessiveness and jealousy part that is really sticking out to me, okay. There, there may be, that sounds like something, definitely, all of this actually sounds like a conflict, so... Um, but when I see jealousy and I see this lovers with three people on it instead of two, I mean, just look at this, this completely naked feminine over here who knows that this, this feminine who's a little bit more voluptuous and she's still wearing something, you know, he's looking at her. She's different from this one. You see what I'm saying? And there's insecurity there. There's, you know what I mean? Almost, uh, almost sadness. Okay, so for me as a reader, these two cards here are future cards. And one will occur first. Now this is the, in this deck, these are called knaves instead of pages. And these are called chalices instead of cups. Okay, um, now this is, This is, I'm feeling this is reconciliation, okay? There's, there's been this conflict going on. You know you've got the upper hand, and so what's, what it's going to work out to, you're very determined to, and so you're going to reconcile. This is emotional happiness. This is, um, you know, this, this can mean separation um, if it's near a negative card, though. So you do kind of, you've got this king of cups in reverse, and then over here you've got this magician, but I still, I don't know, I still kind of feel like this is reunion, reconciliation. But let's move on here. We've got the major arcana card of the magician, okay? Now look at him. Oh, wow. Look at him. Look at his face. He's not fooling around. He knows exactly what he's doing. Okay. He's in reverse. He is a one. And we started out with the ace of swords. And I, I can't help but notice this giant sword that he's holding. Okay, the magician, I always check for earth, air, fire, and water because those are all the elements that are available to you. And I always see this with the magician. Okay. He's got. Uh, where's his pentacles? Well, I guess maybe it's this drawing right here. That's the earth part. Then you've got the fire. Then you've got air. You've also, he's got a wand in his hand, which is also fire. And then he's got water over here in this cup, okay? So um, those are all the elements, earth, air, fire, and water. Let's see, do you have all of those here? You've got fire, you've got air, you've got water, and you do have earth. So good, yes, you are working with all the elements that you need. You're not um, missing anything. But yeah, I'm just seeing uh, very much like this is... This, the same. Look at this. This is a one, and this is a one. This is a big giant sword in this picture, and here's a big giant sword in this picture as well. There is, um, this magician is trickster energy. 
someone or something is pulling the wool over your eyes, things are not what they seem. There is some sort of uh, b connection between this magician and this non-beginning, okay? This confusion um, in your logic, in your intellect. That's what uh, swords are. It's um, your mind. It's your words. It's your, you know, your logic, your your communication, okay? So there, there has, it's mostly to me an upside down ace of swords is confusion, okay? And uh, this is, this can be a choice, definitely. And it can, these cards can mean more than one thing. They can mean all the things that I said. It just depends on the circumstance. Okay, so there is, I, I just feel like this is going to happen first. This energy of, of, of being tricky. Uh, you're going to discover what was keeping you, what this trickster energy is. It just kind of looks, you know, this is kind of a tricky situation, okay? And then this reconciliation will occur. And, but as I say that too, I'm being shown that um, for some of you, you may have the, this reconciliation, but then you may find out later that this was all a trick. Somehow, I just feel that the first is more true, though, okay? I just feel that you're going to find out what this was keeping you from making this decision or the other person, whatever it was that was keeping this decision from being made, and then there will be this union or reconciliation or some sort of invitation for love or a message of love, okay? And so then what we have for your hope card here is the Eight of Pentacles. I just feel like you're hoping to work long and hard together for this relationship. You've got the determination right here, the determination. <laughs> You've got the determination right here, okay? You may be feeling a little defensive. No, I'm feeling this passion, okay? There's, I mean, look at the curve of her back. There is just so much passion in this picture. You've got determination because of what you've got in your arms here. And the same here. This is you hoping that this... You see right here, there's more movement here. This this just seems like, ah, you know, we've got a good rhythm going. We've done this. We're good. We're, we understand each other, right? This is what I think you're, you're hoping for, that you'll get. And this is a progression as well, the seven and the eight, even though this is wands and this is discs. Uh, seven and the eight, that's a, a later progression. So we're almost there. You, I mean, you, so you're going from... Uh, this new beginning to almost there. You see what I'm saying? And I, oh, okay, so this energy is messing with the beginning. That's why they're both ones. I just got that as a, I don't know, a message or a, now here, oh, here's another seven. So is there any more sevens? Nope. Okay, so this is when I say stop this video or, um, do it afterwards, but go ahead and look up angel number 77 because that has another message for you. Now, this is the seven of swords. Now, this is where you're at right now. You're, okay, so this is a tricky situation, okay? <laughs> you're right, the tricky energy, the tricky situation that requires requires great care because there's some treachery there's just some deceit here um but this also speaks about hope okay this speaks about hope about something that you're quarreling about this is this talks about confidence wishes Okay, this also um, is getting away with something. You could be hoping to be getting away with something, but I, I just mentioned those because there's a, a broad amount of Tauruses listening to this right now. 
but I just feel like this is mostly for most of you this is the tricky uh, in, uh, energy that you're feeling okay getting through this particular um, conflict that you've got with this person is a bit tricky okay but it's being shown to you as the magician because this is a huge lesson in your divine blueprint okay this is an opportunity for you to learn and move on this is the lovers so this is also major arcana so this is these energies right here the magician and the lovers which are the only major arcana which like two out of 10 cards are your major arcana cards so this is mostly all in your control okay this has a lot to do with discernment with this tricky situation and then making a decision okay this is your fear card oh the queen the queen of chalices well i'll just show her to you in the upright this is the queen of cups Okay, love, queen of love. Um, she's in the reverse, though. So she's all about um, needing to gain a clear perspective because her emotions, she's all in her head with her emotions right now. Uh, you can't um, do everything. When your mind is full of emotions, you've got to stop and... Um, Put some logic into it before you, you move on, okay? So another thing I'm, I'm uh, seeing here is what you've got now is a divine couple. This just happened with um, Capricorn, but it was uh, the king and queen of wands. What you've got here is the king and queen of cups. So this is love. You're dealing with love, all right? Love. It's just that these energies are in reverse right now to communicate where they're at. But you, you are, um, this is a major love relationship in your life, okay? This is telling you, uh, as a fear card, you may be afraid that you're living uh, according to other people's desires or something. And maybe they're taking um, advantage of you. Um, you could be, you know, suspicious about stuff like that but that right there could be the tricky uh energy that's going on here we've got this possessiveness and jealousy moving out over here okay when it comes to love possessiveness jealousy insecurity okay so this tricky energy could be you i mean look at that say you're the masculine um What's going on right there? You know what's going on right there. He's all up in his head. Sex is very mental. And something's bothering him. And so they're having some setbacks because of his uh, of what's going on in his mind. Um, the Queen of Cups is when emotions rule your head. Okay? So you're afraid that this is going to keep happening. Okay? But, oh, that was hot. I just touched that. Um, now, this is your um, potential outcome. Three of coins. Now, the three of coins is when you, it's basically success. Okay? If you want to be working hard together, you've got that, that, uh, this, eight of discs your hope to be working hard together you know um there you go you'll be back on track this is when things are working this is when things start to work okay um for all i know uh if there's a third party situation um you might give it a try. It might work. I don't, uh, I don't know. There's all kinds of folks out there, all kinds of things that make people happy. Okay. So 
things are going to start working potentially here for you. Now here's what we have at the uh, at the un the underlying energy is the Ace of Discs. That's a new beginning in your health and your wealth. But I, I I'm I'm thinking this is more of a, a new beginning in your earthly life. Ha, Mother Earth. <laughs> Your earthly life, okay? Um, this is advancement. This is more success. This can be an engagement ring. This can be, um, yeah, engagement ring. Happiness, contentment, ecstasy. This is what you're looking for. Wow. All right. Now, let's see what the tea leaves say for us today. I just love these cards. So many. I knew right away. You know, I don't have a whole lot of decks and oracle decks and stuff. So I had to put together these things with what I had. And, you know, I, I, when I thought about the Mother Earth Week, I really thought these tea leaves were, were totally it, you know. Of course, one day I'll probably have a, a Mother Earth Oracle or things like that. Okay, what do you would what would you like to say, Mother Earth? Divine Spear Being Mother. What else would you like to tell Taurus? <laughs> Calm down there. Oh, gotta get that. Whoa. one that fell. Okay. Now I already told you um, how much control you have over this situation. I gauge that by the number of major arcana to minor and you've got two out of ten. So like I said, most of this is in your control. Okay. All right. Fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. And um, I would also say fair skin as well. Purse, pay attention to your finances. Oh. Throne, position of authority. Wow, you've got two, uh, you've got a king and a queen in here. Maybe you know that you've got the upper hand. Maybe you are the one in, in authority. Okay, tree. Affairs with your family. Yeah. I knew this had something to do with, you know, planting. This is the divine seed to be planting. Putting down roots somewhere else, you know. Starting a family. Okay, tree. So... Older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman. Pale, time to get out of a situation. Ooh. Angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Yay! Sometimes angels are messengers too, so I, I'm just kind of feeling this nave of uh, chalices. Because this, you know, chalices are love, and, and the knave is the page, which is also the messenger. And then this angel. Skull, hidden secrets can harm you. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I have a feeling that these are your own secrets. Maybe you don't know yourself as well as you think you do. So, like I was saying, these, these tricky energies could be you. Secret admirer. Oh, okay. So this could be what's up here. This could be the, the thing that you're not seeing. Maybe you have a secret admirer and they know about it, or maybe they have a secret admirer and they haven't told you about it. And, you know, but you're going to find out you're going to move on. Okay. Or you're going to include this secret admirer. Okay. Dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. Oh, yeah. You know what? I, 
I just think it's this this hope that you have here the eight of discs I feel like you've already been working on something oh wow marriage marriage yay yep I'm just gonna go ahead and put this over well that would be the lovers of it's, they're all covered boat money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall wow okay well that is the ace of discs so as an underlying energy some of you may have gotten some sort of lump sum of money and that could be what you guys are arguing about or worried about but you know what it looks pretty good here um you just need to be honest with yourself are you being possessive were they being possessive and jealous is there a third party situation going on here is this not okay or is it okay is you know how do you want things to work in your life is it really an ace or is it a three uh, or a two okay all right taurus that's what i've got for you um i hope you enjoyed your reading i'll see you next time